Hello all math lovers, welcome in another interesting episode. This is a very simple mathematical statement. How fast you can find the result of this math problem without using any calculator? I am giving you a challenge. You can't find the result of this math problem within 4 minutes. It will take you more than 4 minutes without using any calculator. If you want to take this challenge, pause this video right now. Try yourself, come back and see how do I calculate using different approach. In order to make it simplification, let's consider this 100 is equal to x. Now rewrite this part without this square root. 100 and this 101 can be rewritten as like as 100 plus 1 and this 102 means 100 plus 2 and this 103 is 100 plus 3 and remaining this plus 1. I am not using this square root in this term to make it simplification. What we can do now, we can substitute this 100 by this x because at the beginning we consider 100 is equal to x. So this part become x and 100 plus 1 means x plus 1. This part become x plus 2 that means x plus 3 plus 1. At this point of our calculation, I want to multiply this x with this part x plus 3 and I want to multiply this part with that part. That means if I do a multiplication with x times x plus 3, the result become x square plus 3x and if I do multiplication x plus 1 times x plus 2, it result become x square plus 3x plus 2. And this plus on remain the same. I am going to do a clever mathematical engineering exactly on this part. This 2 can be rewritten as 1 plus 1. This plus 1 remain same. I am writing this 2 1 plus 1 because of a clever mathematical engineering. I can multiply this part by that part and at the same time I can multiply this part with this 1. This is the mathematical engineering that I am going to apply right now. If I multiply this part by that part means this is here and which is multiplied by this part. And this is the interesting thing, this plus is exactly here and at the same time I am multiplying this part by 1 that means x square plus 3 and this plus is here and that one is here. I can do a first bracket exactly this part. Now I am going to apply another clever mathematical engineering on this part. Look at here, this and that they are same so I can take a common one of them here x square plus 3x plus 1 and from this part remaining is x square plus 3x plus this plus is here and this part become 1. This and that they are same and they are multiplied by each other so I can write here x square plus 3x plus 1 is whole square. This mathematical term becomes simplified version of that one, right? So I can rewrite this part, this part without this square root equal to that part. That means 100 times 101, 102, 103, which is equals to that part. x square plus 3x plus 1 whole square. So if I do a square root on this part, I have to do the square root of that part. That means this is that which is equals to this. Is not it very simple? Well, my work is not finished yet. This square root and this square, they can be cancelled from this mathematical statement and remaining is x square plus 3x plus 1. That means if I substitute this x by 100 that you consider at the beginning, the result become 100 square plus 3 times 100 plus 1. It will be 10,000 plus 300 plus 1. That means this part is equal to 10,000. 
1030301. Yes, this is the result. 10301 is the result of this. That means this is equal to 10301. This is the result of this mathematical calculation. Well, don't go. I'm going to apply the conventional mathematical approach to solve this mathematical problem. To do that, let's rewrite this mathematical statement again here. This is alternative mathematical solution. So what I can do, I can use the same thing, same approach, but without using the x or any additional um, uh, parameters. So let's rewrite this square root again here. This 100 remains same. 101 means 100 plus 1, this 102 means 100 plus 2, 103 means 100 plus 3, plus this plus 1 and square root over every parameters. What I did here, I did x multiplied by that part. That means let's multiply this by that one. So it's become 100 times 100 is 100 square plus 100 times 3 is 300 this and I multiplied this part with that part that means it's become 100 square plus 200 plus 100 plus 2 if you multiply this and that result is this and um, this remaining one is exactly here and then what you can do remaining is 100 square plus 300 and this 100 square remaining same 200 plus 100 is 300 and these two I can split it into 1 plus 1 according uh, exactly like this way from he here to here and this plus 1 remaining is exactly here and this is square root from the previous statement now what I do I can multiply this by this 1 and I can multiply this by exactly up to that from this part and that part, we can take common this and that. That means 100 square plus 300 plus 1 is common. And from this part is remaining 100 square plus 300 plus this plus. I'm using different color. And this part become 1 if we take the common. So remaining is this is the square. And this and that they are same so I can write this is a square 100 square plus 300 plus 1 since both are same and they are multiplied by each other so I can write the square in this part of calculation I can remove this square and this square root and remaining is um, 100 square plus 300 plus 1 100 square means 10,000 plus 300 plus 1. If you do a calculation, 10,000 plus 300 plus 1 means 10301, which is equals to the same answer of this one. This and that both are same. Tell me which approach is very easier, this approach or that approach. Write it in the comment section which approach you do like uh, from my calculation. Well. I give you big thanks for watching this video and um, I appreciate your uh, subscription in my channel. It will help me to make better further content in future. Thank you so much again and see you next time. Bye bye.